You know, it's pretty crazy to think about that we haven't had an elite boss fight in the Halo franchise since the heretic leader from Halo 2 all the way back in 2004. The elites are blind, Arbiter. But I... And since then, at best, Halo's boss battles have been replaced with epic set pieces with massive scale, or at worst, been removed altogether with cutscenes, because, you know, those are more fun. Ooh, you suck. But with Halo Infinite, boss battles are back, and honestly, the elites have some of the best boss fights in the entire game. Welcome to my tower, Master Chief. It is where you will be broken. But with all that guys, welcome to my breakdown of Chacklock from Halo Infinite. And if you're playing through Halo Infinite's campaign, he should be your first elite boss battle you run into, unless you jump into some of the HVTs first. But guys, welcome to the video. I've been itching to make some more Halo Infinite content, so here we are with my next boss breakdown from Halo Infinite. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And in case you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Live From My Basement, a YouTube channel where I sit here in my basement and talk to you guys about all things Halo. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. But guys, let's dive into my breakdown of Chacklock from Halo Infinite. Chacklock is an elite warlord in the Banished whose main responsibility is maintaining the tower, a banished installation dropped on a Zeta Halo from low orbit that serves as a place of interrogation and torture for stranded UNSC troops on Zeta Halo. I believe a neat example of this is if you go to the base of the tower, you'll see this trench, and if you follow it down, you'll eventually find a flipped mongoose, and then beyond that is actually a cave where you find the Banished have discovered a squad of hiding marines, which might be the marines that are tied up at the base of the tower. And this feared place of torture is run by none other than Chacklock himself. Oh. What is it? This... This place is an interrogation facility run by our elite friend back there, Chacklock. His reputation is... not good. Neither is mine. Which leads us to Chacklock himself, whose armor is very reminiscent of that of the Golden Elite Warlord that you'll see roaming Zeta Halo, though his armor is more of a rusty gold color with red details on the arms, legs, and body. Though by the end of the boss fight, and depending on what difficulty you're playing on, he might not have any gold armor plating left because it chips off throughout the battle, which is something I think that's pretty cool for all the elites in Halo Infinite. But moving on to the boss fight itself. First off, Chacklock is always equipped with active camouflage and is only revealed when taking damage or dealing damage, which makes it very difficult to track him unless you use your threat sensor. And as far as the weapons that Chacklock uses, he is equipped with a pulse carbine that he uses to great effect as he moves very quickly, can lay down suppressive fire at a distance, and even throw plasma grenades. Chacklock also commonly switches to his energy sword, which makes him lethal at close range, but for whatever reason, sometimes when he straps it to his leg, he can't shut it off, which looks pretty dangerous. And on top of using his energy sword for traditional melee slashes, Chacklock can use his energy sword to lunge across the room and get you when you think you're safe. And Chacklock is equipped with a very powerful personal energy shield, which on higher difficulties can make him pretty difficult to beat. So personally, the way I beat him is by using the shock coils in his arena to stun him so he can drain his shields and then drop his health. And this is exactly how I do it. But guys, that was my breakdown of Chacklock from Halo Infinite. What did you guys think of this boss fight? I personally loved it because A, his voice was perfect. I thought he had the perfect elite voice. And really, I feel like it was a great prelude to the boss fight you'd have later in Halo Infinite's campaign against Jaeger. Just how creepy and eerie that, that boss fight was. And this bo boss fight against Chacklock taught you how to use your threat sensor in the misty environment. I just feel like it really taught you how to deal with Jaeger later on, at least to some extent. But guys, I love this boss fight. I, I love Chacklock's atmosphere with his tower. Everything about it, I feel like, was a perfect early boss fight for Halo Infinite. But guys, what did you guys think? If you found yourself liking this video, be sure to drop a like on the video because, as you guys know, it helps the video reach more Halo fans. It means a whole lot to me. But guys, that's all I have for this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.